Hello and welcome back to another edition of Teacher Talks Dog Man. Hey friends, check out this dog man costume. In today's video, I'm gonna take you over to somebody else's information. I didn't make this costume, but I'm gonna show you and they show kind of a few steps on how to make a dog man costume like this one right here. Absolutely amazing. I'll show you that in today's video. Also, we're gonna dive into shout outs and comments because it is Saturday, at least where I live, it's Saturday, Saturday morning. So I'm gonna to get to those shout outs and comments from our previous video. All right, friends, a really exciting one. Also, I wanna start off and say, I apologize. I owe you an apology and here's what it is. I told you guys I would make one or two videos a week and it has been like seven or eight or nine days since I made a video and I can tell you it has been very, very busy for teacher talks between teaching and my own kids. So don't forget, my family comes first, my job as a teacher comes second, and then I love doing YouTube, you know I do, but that has to come third for my priorities. So I hope that you as a student and a uh, son or daughter out there have priorities similar in your household as well. So anyway, I apologize to you guys, but let's get back to this video. Check it out, is that the coolest costume ever or what? And I was thinking this would be really fun for Halloween if you celebrate Halloween. Also, I know that there's a lot of Dogman um, activities and festivities and celebrations going on. I know Rain Villanueva was talking about uh, how she's putting together a costume for um, her own book release uh, over there in the Philippines where she lives. They're doing a book release and kind of a celebration and she's gonna make a Dogman costume. So I can't wait to hear the details and hopefully see some pictures on that one. Very cool. <clears throat> now, here's the thing though. I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna make a costume, do your best and forget the rest. What does that mean? It means do your best with the costume, but the costume I'm gonna show you today, don't um, be overwhelmed by how awesome it is because if you try to make your own, there's no way I could make it this amazing. But um, so anyway, we'll do our best, forget about the rest and have fun with it. All right, let's dive in and let's see a little bit more on this costume. Okay, here's another picture of that costume. Very cool, all right. Let's see if we can find another one. Okay, there's Dogman in line again. And there's, there's another kind of from the side. Oh, the cape looks really cool on that side. Very cool, and you can kind of take notes, like maybe see those boots right there, they're kind of blue boots. Maybe that's something you have that you could add to your costume if you wanted to make one. All right, and then look at this, all these students and kids, and look at that, you can like see Dogman right there. That is so cool. All right, let's go over and see how this person made this, and let's say hi to that person and give them some credit for making this awesome costume. Okay, let's start by giving some uh, credit to Haley Fer uh, Fenris. Haley Fenris. And uh, Haley, I sure hope you don't mind me making a video out of this amazing piece of artwork that you have put together. But I thought it was so cool that I would share it. And so here's Dogman right here. And let's kind of take a look. All right, notice some of the costume. Check out the blue shirt, got the bone. Notice the bone has a black outline to it and the belt. And all right, let's dive in. Let's take a look here. And also at the bottom, Haley writes, here are some steps that how I made the Dogman costume. I used normal plastic mask and plastic cup for the face and a normal shirt. All right, and it looks like that is as many details as she explains, but check it out. Okay, here's step one, and it looks like this. So there's a plastic cup for the nose and then a mask and maybe this was like a different kind of mask, not necessarily a Dogman one, but just some sort of a mask that looks like she kind of maybe did like a paper mache and kind of like sort of glued, if you will, if you know what paper mache is, and um, some like newspaper type of material onto there. All right, let's go to the next picture. Okay, now this one, we skipped a couple steps, right? If you look, there's that cup again for the nose. Now it looks like she has painted it and also put those black lines on and a little black ball for the nose, the tip of the nose. And then also she's got that cape that's starting to go over Dogman's eyes and kind of over his head. All right. Okay, and now we're on to Dogman's shirt. So she's saying this is just kind of a normal shirt. Now, if you take a look, it is collared. So I thought that was good to note. 
and then of course get the right color as close as you can and then it looks like she cut out a piece of fabric from white fabric into the shape of a bone and then on the outside of the bone you can see she's part way done doing that outline of the black for the bone <clears throat> it looks like some yellow uh, fabric for that belt and maybe some like a black permanent marker like a sharpie to um, help out with some of those details and then maybe some more black fabric something along those lines some of this guys I'm guessing a little bit also notice up at the collar she just started putting one little black line there and you'll notice what she does with it next okay so notice the collar now she's got all the black lines up there we finished off the bone has the nice outline on it and coming together all right let's see the next picture there it is there's the costume absolutely amazing so you can see here let's kind of zoom in on that mask a little bit let's see if we can do that wow look at that mask and you can see she's added on a lot of details from the tongue to um, the ears and now again this person is very talented there is no way teacher talks could make this and make it look anything like this now I might try to make my own costume and I might be super happy with it but is it gonna be this professional I think is the right word uh, no it's not but I'll be happy with whatever I come up with okay so and then let's go ahead and take a look okay there is a coming kind of straight on picture and again there's that face you can look at some details very very cool I mean I am blown away how amazing this is all right there's another one there and there is her son or daughter I don't know which one but um, I believe it's her son or daughter and they're in the costume look at that looks perfect and again if you look so it looks like some blue pants to finish it off and maybe some blue um uh, blue shoes or blue what do we call those kind of boots all right and there you go right there so I'm assuming that's Haley who made it and that's her son or daughter in the dogman costume absolutely awesome and amazing 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 hey so the good news is if you wanted to do this for Halloween well you've got several several weeks like a month and a half that you could be working on this or maybe if you want to do the book release you could try to get something else together but um, again, this is a very professional job by someone who I bet you that this person, this mom, has some professional level of making stuff like this, or at least she has some very good skills with sewing and putting things together. So anyway, Haley, uh, dot Fenris. if you want to go check it out, if you're on Instagram, if you're not on Instagram, make sure that you are going with mom and dad so they can supervise what you are doing over there. But cheers to you, Haley. This is absolutely one of the coolest things I've seen. And uh, all right, I don't know what else to say, but I'm blown away by this dog man costume. Okay, guys, and there's the full costume in action. All right, awesome, awesome job there. Let's go check out these shout outs. Let's read some comments. Let's have a little discussion. Okay, from our last video, Julian, cool programmer, says first. Very cool. Typical cool Mario says, this game looks fun and it's my birthday. Hey, happy birthday to you. Now that was a week ago, so I hope you had a great birthday and welcome to your new age. Julian Cool Programmer says, all right guys, five more days till my birthday. Ooh, that means your birthday was just like two days ago. All right, happy birthday there, Julian Cool Programmer. Awesome, JJ says, first to comment. And hey guys, listen, there are some replies down here that aren't all that friendly about like who's first and who's not first friends it doesn't matter have fun with it if you say first and someone else does too you should just be smiling like hey we both got here early right maybe you could say instead of first I'll tell you what if you're really a doggers member what if we start saying I'm in early or I'm here early instead of first I think that would be really cool maybe we can start a movement like that to help us with our kindness being good people and doing good things Abby Davis says, I got for whom the ball rolls yesterday. I love it so far. Thanks for the shout out. You got it. And get another shout out today. Thanks, Abby. Have a great day. Lego Spongy Production says, happy 1,000 subscribers. It's amazing how fast this channel is growing. I'm so happy for me. I'm so happy for you guys. It's our channel, right, Doggers Crew? Not just mine. Mini Ninja says, Teacher Talks, how do you get Dogman Guide to Creating Comics in 3D? You know what? I think that one I just ordered on Amazon. Sometimes publishers send me books before they're released. Not very often, 
but um, sometimes Scholastic, or no, not Scholastic, but sometimes the different um, publishers or people who wrote the books send them to me early. So sometimes I get stuff a little bit earlier than you guys do, but most of the time that's not the case. I think most of the Dogman stuff I actually purchase either on Amazon or on Scholastic is awesome, but you might have to wait a little bit more, but that's usually how I buy my stuff. Okay, here is Teach Talks High it says, Shield Surf 88, good to hear from you. Mix Videos Roblox says, Hi, Dogman, love your videos. Thank you very much and have a great day. Yee, says Craig, 12122. And Chuck E. Cheese, Feet Yoshi 89, did I say that right? Says Teacher Dogs Dogman Fetch 22, coming in three months. Isn't that amazing, guys? Because I feel like at the beginning of summer, what was I saying? Hey, it's about three more months until Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls. And now we're saying it's about three more months until Dogman Fetch 22 comes. It's amazing how sometimes it seems like time goes very slow. Like if you're waiting for your birthday and it's a week away, it seems like time can go slow. But in general, as an adult, I can tell you life goes fast. So enjoy it. Enjoy Dog Man for Whom the Ball Rolls and Fetch 22 will be here before you know it. Hey, here's Rain Villanueva says, I saw your latest video many times and it was cool. Thank you this weekend. I'm going to start working on my dog man costume. Hey, well, what a perfect video for you. And again, Rain, my advice to you is don't forget the video you just saw. And that was a professionally made costume. You do the best you can to have a ton of fun with it, okay? All right, so um, wearing it for next Sunday's Dog Man 7 book launch party. And I'm even inviting my friends to the event as well. That is so amazing, Rain. I'm really excited for you. And um, I can't wait for your costume reveal and tell us about the launch party and give us some details on that. And again, if you want to, um, any of the pictures and stuff that you want me to show on Teacher Talks Dog Man, I'm willing to do it for sure. But if there's certain stuff that you don't want me to put on there and you want to have on your own channel or on your Instagram, hey, I respect that for sure. And I will not put those on this channel. All right, guys. Uh, very cool. All right. Thanks, Rain. Patricia Ramirez says, is dog man, okay, is game dog man of it teacher talks? Um, did I make the game? No, I did not. That was um, another, I think, teacher that did that. But uh, I think it's a great game and I'm definitely going to use it. Leakio Hero says, I'm actually thinking of making a dog man game. I think you should do it. Have fun with it. Wanley says, and now there are ads running on your videos. You're right, Wanley. And I apologize for that, but I ask you to be patient and enjoy the videos anyway. Wanley kindly, uh, Wanley Wan, kindly K and, and Dak Blake say, me and Lego Productions 2019, 2020 and DM are going to do a challenge of the first person to get 1,000 subscribers and the second winner because it was the first and first place. All right, well, have fun with it, guys. I'll tell you this, making YouTube channels and putting up videos and trying to get a lot of subscribers sometimes it's a lot of fun and it can also be a lot of work and it can be frustrating at times if you're not focused on the right thing and here is my advice on what to focus on are you ready be safe make sure mom and dad see the videos you're putting up and watching on youtube and number two is have fun have fun the minute that these videos are not fun for me to make i'm gonna stop making them guys i really am this is for fun and to kind of celebrate reading and celebrate dog man and i suggest you have the same amount of fun but it can be frustrating to try to grow a channel fast so just do your best and the subscribers will come sooner or later lego spongy production says that's right uh wanly Wan. okay and shocker lightning 224 says hi dude good to hear from you dude lego spongy production says now Wan is just me and DM for gaming. Okay, cool. Gage Cordic says, oh, I don't like this comment, but listen, I, it's, it's a real thing. It's a real thing, so let's talk about it. I'm not saying I don't like it like you shouldn't have written it. I'm just saying it makes my heart a little bit sad, but I have some good news for you too, okay, Gage? This is Gage Cordic says, guess what? I'm in sixth grade now, and I'm already hating it. You know what? Here's the reason I'm going to give you a heart, and here's the reason I'm going to give you a thumbs up, and here's the reason I'm going to tell you that it's okay to write that, and it's even okay to feel that way. However, listen, when you go to class, do your best every day. Do your best with your behaviors, making good choices. Do the best with your social skills, being friendly and kind to other people, and do your best on the academics, the reading, the writing, the math, the science. Do your best with a smile on your face. Work hard, and what you'll find is school will become more and more fun. 
Go in there with a good attitude, like I'm going to be successful today. And each day, kind of go in and reset yourself, right? I'm going to go in and be successful today. And every day, kind of tell yourself that as you're walking in the door. And hopefully, hopefully things will get a little bit more enjoyable for you. And the other thing I'm going to tell you, Gage, is that um, the teachers and the students, the first like month of school, it's hard. It's hard on us teachers because we don't know you students that well. So we're just trying to figure all you guys out and, you know, trying to do a lot as a teacher. It's really hard work the first month of school. And then it gets easier for us because we get to know you guys, right? And it's easier for you because you get to know your teachers and your classmates. So I can tell you that the second half of the year seems to me like where students really start loving their classroom and enjoying the teachers and friendships and bonding and that kind of stuff with their other classmates, right? Developing those friendships and that kind of stuff. So hang in there, keep smiling, do your best. I, I bet, do me a favor, check in with us uh, as you go along, <clears throat> like maybe around Christmas time, and let us know how it's going. I bet it's going to be going better as long as you can keep that good attitude. Here's Omax says, hi, congratulations on 1,000 subscribers, plus it's my birthday in five months. I'm turning 11. Holy cow, uh, you're 10 years old already. Double digits, right? A one and a zero. And then you're going to be a one and a one. Amazing. Uh, Pedico says, Okay, Pedico is not too happy because he's saying uh, that somebody else kind of stole his name and he's pretty unhappy with it and going to kind of let um, YouTube know about it. Here's my advice to you, Pedico. Are you ready? You can go ahead and do all that, but think about how frustrating it's going to be, like this whole process. In my opinion, if somebody else wants to use my name, teacher talks, I don't care. I don't even care. I just smile because I know that I'm going to do the best I can with my channel and my stuff. And if they want to do one and use the same name or something like that, oh, well, I'm going to tell them, you know, it's okay with me. No big deal. Like, I want to remind them like, hey, it feels like you're kind of taking my channel and kind of borrowing my name or even borrowing pictures from it. But I'm still going to smile, give them a thumbs up and say, hey, do the best you can. I'm going to go this way and do the best I can with my channel. So I suggest you kind of go that way with it. But at the same time, if you feel like, hey, maybe there's a way I can try to fight for this name, you can certainly try. But um, I don't know if YouTube is going to help you with that or not. But good luck with it. My opinion is, hey, just have fun with it. Have fun with it. Hey, here's Waris, which is really nice to hear from him. Um, and he put a link in here. Normally, guys, I warn you, don't put links in here. YouTube doesn't like that, and this link may disappear. However, if it does disappear, um, I would go to Waris's YouTube channel. Go there with mom and dad because I think Waris is a little bit older, so make sure that they're happy with the videos that you're going to see. However, the link for this particular video is an amazing video, and it's basically kind of like celebrating Teacher Talks Dogman and Teacher Talks Me and also um, some of the Doggers crew who have made big contributions to our channel. Now, keep in mind, he did about four or five um, of the students or Doggers crew who have made really big contributions. It's hard because now we're up to like 12 or 15 of you that are sending me information and sending stuff. So he kind of did some of the original people who have been here since the very beginning of our channel and really been working hard to make stuff. So I know that he may have left out one or two people but again, I think he did a great job of getting the people who really, really have kind of sent a lot of high, high, high quality stuff. So, Warris, I checked out the video. I think it's absolutely amazing. Good for you, bud. And it's good to hear from you again, too. Sometimes I don't hear from you for a while. So I hope your school year is going well. I'm FNFA fan 12567. And he says, um, okay. Uh, okay, so it sounds like you're just changing your name there. Cool. Okay, Dr. Scum was an underrated character before book seven is Pokefan209. Hey, that's a really good comment. Good insight. Nice job. Bobby Severa says, it's been forever since I was here and now my profile picture is a bongo cat. Oh, cool. That's fun. Alex World says, nice. I'm in third grade and I love Dogman. Still, my teacher has Dogman, but not Dogman a cat kid. Okay, and not the new one. All right, all right. And it's fun to see our channel growing so big in only six months. I know that is really fun. And also, Alex says, I'm going to make a new marketing. Uh, I'm working. Ah, oh, boy, teacher talks. You're not reading this well. Can I try again, please? I'm going to make my own making comics in 3D. <clears throat> and, um, and then he's going to read it. Okay, cool. That's awesome. 
Mark Javen says, LOL, Manila is my dog's name. Oh, that's cool. And Manila is a city in the Philippines, I believe. And Darwin says, hey, Teacher Talks Dog Man, it's me, Fandroid. I changed my name because the character that you see is my profile picture and my favorite character. I made a shout out for you. Oh, thanks. That's really cool, Darwin. I'll check it out. Recorder Kid says they should make a board game of Dogman. I totally agree. But instead of telling other people to make it, I challenge you, Recorder Kid. Why don't you or some other Doggers crew, let's make our own board man game. Or board game of Dogman. <laughs> Sorry, I said that wrong. I need more coffee this morning, guys. But I'm imagining in my head, like kind of like Monopoly, like how you go around in Monopoly if you've ever played that, except it's all related to Dogman. I think that would be amazing, right? Petey could go to jail or other stuff like that that's kind of related to Monopoly. Oh, that would be really cool. Okay, Marilyn Laura says, I have all the Dogman books. Congratulations to you. That is amazing. Thomas Lane says, hi, good to hear from you. This is fun. Abby Davis having a little bit of fun here with dog man D da dog dogma dogma dog man <laughs> that's cool nice job <clears throat> here's bark knight rises saying i love that game i know it's cool and super cool here's lincoln loud saying cool i will play that game with my friends i think it's really awesome guys and again as a teacher my goal is to make it so much fun you don't even realize how hard you're working on your reading your writing and your math Believe it or not, that game right there to grow your vocabulary could also really practice your writing if you're going to make the flashcards yourself. Helps you understand the, the books and the book structure and sentence structure. So there's all kinds of awesome learning, but it's so much fun you don't even realize it. So I think that's really cool. You Can't See Me says, sorry I've not been commenting or watching for a long time. Um, I will. By the way, You Can't See Me, my name has changed. Okay, sounds like you're going to change up your name and that's cool. And September 12th is your birthday, which I think was two days ago. So happy birthday. Wow, we got a lot of birthdays going on. Good news, dm for gaming has almost 50 subscribers. Bad news, Dogman for whom the ball rolls is out, and I don't have the Dogman book anymore. Oh, but you might get it for your birthday. Well, there you go. So maybe you just got it two days ago for your birthday. I don't know. Hopefully. Nolan O'Brien says, congratulations on 1,000 subscribers. Are you excited for Dogman Fetch 22? You know what? I'm hoping to celebrate for whom the ball rolls more and more. Um, and kind of look forward to Fetch 22, but I want to make sure that I really enjoy For Whom the Ball Rolls, and uh, yeah, but I'm definitely looking forward to Fetch 22. Julian, cool programmer, says, Teacher Talks, look at the replies. Someone can say something mean, and if you reach 1,800 subscribers on my TV. Cool. Um, so cool about the subscribers, not cool about the mean comments, and guys, listen, I know it's hard to do, but think like a Doggers crew member. If somebody says something not that nice, what are you going to do? Remember, be even nicer to them. They say something even meaner to you, to you, be even nicer to them. And if they're still saying mean things, I would walk away. Or if you're on YouTube, I would. what would be the equivalent of walking away if you're on the internet? I think you should walk away for that conversation. In other words, don't even read their comments or replies, that person who's not being nice. Just move on right past it with a smile on your face and go do something positive, something good, okay? That would be my advice to you. Okay, kind of the same topic, Julian Cool Programmer says, <clears throat> rules of uh, Teacher Talks Dog Man, no bullying zone, be respectful, be kind, no fighting, enjoy the rules. And I think that those are really good ones, I really do. And it's amazing to me in this world how many people aren't as kind as I feel like they could be. So let's lead with kindness and let's show other people on this planet that we can be so nice that they're going to want to be nice too. Because they're going to see how awesome your world is when you're that nice. And they're going to be like, hey, I, I want to be like that too. Right? Always smiling, having a good time. And you know, if someone's ha having a bad day, instead of arguing with them, just give them a smile. Maybe they need a handshake. Maybe they need a hug. Maybe they need, you know, just to listen a little bit or something like that. All right, guys. Toy Animation says, I ordered Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls in Scholastic. Very cool. Reagan Kennedy says, hello. Good to hear from you. And I love uh, that Reagan Kennedy lives basically on the other side of the world from me, I believe. Uh, I believe that he lives in uh, Britain, in the UK, which is pretty much on the other end of the world. So I think it's so fun that we can both celebrate Dogman. 
no matter where you are on the world. It's really, really cool. So Reagan, hope you're having a great day over there, okay? And here is daily video stuff saying, I love reading, me too. Especially fun stuff I'm interested in. Hunter, AJ Hunter says, Dogman is in the book fair. Uh, book fair new, okay, cool. Hi there, my name is Spinal says, I made a Henry Danger musical parody fan made Dogman comic book. All right, boy, that's a mouthful, very cool. Recorder Kid. Even if we are Dogman, PD, Little PD, ADHD, Chief, Sarah Hadoff, Zuzu, or any of the characters, we are one team coming together for awesomeness and kindness. I love it. And our last one is, you can't see me, says, yeah, it's my birthday if you're reading this on September 12th. Congratulations and happy birthday to you. Hey, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If I did not get to your comment, I apologize. And if I didn't, I give a special shout out to every single Dogger crew member out there, whether I got to your comment or not. Hey, listen, keep a smile on your face. Do good things. Be a good person. Help somebody out today. How can you help out mom and dad today? How can you make their world a little bit easier today? Help out your little brothers and sisters. All right, guys, go out there. Be awesome. And that's going to do it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.